that is in fact right. I am now, after a long and persistent uh, convincing from a uh, an Aussie koala friend of mine, I am now reading and as monthly reviewing, you know, Attack on Titan as it is known, or Shingeki no Kyojin, as I just like to say. Um, no reason behind that, it just does. But the, I'm not going to go over everything that's happened pretty much prior to this chapter because that's what, 115 other chapters, which is, given that this is a monthly, is over, what, 300? It'd be like reviewing all of Zatch Bell in one video. Not going to do that. We'll just go from this chapter and forward. Obviously, where it's at, all I'm going to say going into the start of this chapter is Piek wasn't, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, but I don't think she went into the situation as prepared as she should have been. Like, clearly she came in to capture Aaron, right? She came in, she killed the, one of Aaron's guys, and was just like, alright, we got guns on him, hopefully he'll he'll comply and we can take him out. Um, you know, go back to uh, Marley, because he's got the Founding Titan in him. But Aaron is just like, okay, um, go ahead and shoot me if, you're gonna sh if you guys are threatening me. Go on, do it. And he just puts his head up right up to the barrel of her gun, what I assume is a Luger, or at least based on a Luger. And... He's just like, I know you're not going to do it, and I know why. And it's, I was talking to somebody about it earlier, same koala, and he, you know, he's talking about, like, Aaron not caring uh, at all enough to do this. I think it's the fact that he knows, and he's, you know, he's clearly, as said here, is knows that they can't kill them, or can't kill him, because the fact that, uh, uh, the fact that he is, he's got the founding titan in him, you know, it's, they're, they're going against their own, like, laws and it would pretty much spell like the end of both gabby and px family and one of them would have to then eat his spinal fluid and whatever and then take his power but then they would have to get eaten anyway so she's pretty much put into a corner uh, i don't think she did that good of a job i don't know why she didn't go for like a way of, of knocking Aaron out and taking him back maybe like sneak attack him hitting him in the back of the head or something and and just knock him out and then maybe like keeping him drugged or something i don't know this was definitely not a good idea and then the fact that she then comes in trying to be like convincing of like well um i, I want to you know you got the founding titan so maybe you can throw over throw marley i'm coming on your side it's not convincing at all the fact that you came in and then killed one of aaron's guys and then was clearly trying to intimidate him and then afterwards when he realized you, you clearly have been checkmated and you're just like well actually I'm on, I'm on your side the whole time it, bullshit uh, Aaron's not stupid enough to believe that he definitely was I mean like compare like Aaron prior like he wasn't stupid but he was naive and this Aaron's obviously at this point he's gone through enough he's he's got a lot of planning now and he's he's clearly got like a mindset of of how people think and you know, he's able to in this clear scenario know when he can smell bullshit coming from a mile away and you know just peers back to everyone else who's just like they're all in that cell just talking and then what's funny is when yelena comes up there's a there's a panel where both armin and yelena are on the same page and i actually like i couldn't tell which one was which they because they just look so similar and it's just like the only difference is like their eyes a little bit a little bit of their hair but other than that i was just like well I think they're the same. It, it was a little bit hard to tell. Just, I'm just putting that out there. Well, she ends up killing one of the other dudes. I don't remember his name. And she's just going over whatever clear espionage. I wouldn't say espionage. Scheming that she's got the way in the back. That she's got her own plan. I mean, she she's definitely not trustworthy. I mean, she keeps shooting people in the head that people think are on her plan or on her side. And yet she's clearly planning and, and, and got her own thing going on. Uh, and I don't know why anyone would trust Yelena. She just doesn't come off in any capacity as somebody you can trust. But then back at it, you know, you got Aaron who then has, you know, cut his finger. And obviously when he's showing he's got an open wound, he could just, you know, tighten up and kill uh, Piek and Gabby. Gabby, Gabby kind of confuses me as a character because I'm, I'm not entirely understanding the point of her sometimes. Because it's like you, you brought this girl in late in the game, and like, things are wrapping up, and this is the final arc, and yet you got this character running around, it just, I'm wondering if it's just kind of that, seeing what that determines, like, Soldier of Marley, and then, like, having her, that struggle of, 
um, figuring out the truth in such a much more innocent kind of feel to it, where it's just some kid who just believes everything shoveled into her brain. That was the only thing I've really been able to kind of think um, is going to come out of the character. I don't think she's going to be some big piece player. It's more of like uh, showing a lot of uh, showing a lot of the mindset, pretty much, uh, you know, of like propaganda and uh, and kind of like the just believing in uh, in everything because of the innocence of you know being young. Because one thing I think that uh, Isayama does best is the effects of war, and not so much as like large-scale battles or, you know, 4D chess, like, checkmating people. It's more of just, like, the the effects that go on to people uh, through the, really through the tone of war and just what that entire layer does to a person's psyche and changes them. Obviously, Aaron is a good example of that. But back at it, you had just had that moment when he's like talking to Piek and he clearly knows that she's got someone over here and uh you know someone infiltrated and when she's talking about you know where exactly that person is and this was good on Aaron because Aaron still didn't trust her and even after he healed himself when he this is like all right cool we'll talk um behind his back he still has like his finger cut and you know he's prepared you know at all times so he knew that something was suspicious. You know, he still had to a degree of, I will follow listening to what they're doing, but I'm not going to just, you know, I'm not going to go and not prepared pretty much. And right then, Piek has, uh, I believe his name is pronounced Galliard, the uh, the Jaws Titan. Well, actually, it's between him and the Beast Titan, which are out of uh, design-wise. I, I just like that weird jigsaw mouth he's got. It just looks weird. But I like, just like comparing him to the last two Jaws Titans, I like this one. I just like that weird, like I said, it's like puzzle pieces of, of, of like a mouth. I don't really know how else to really describe it. It's just that weird shape. But obviously, as I said, Aaron was prepared and he was able enough to not fully get eaten, dodge out, and just get his legs cut off or bit off rather. Really clean cut, cut now that I look at him. It looks like they're cut with a sword. But in that point, he just goes full on Titan and. Piek and uh, and uh, Galliard are fucked at that point. Obviously, reinforcements coming. You see all these airships coming overhead, but there's definitely going to be a, a good time lapse before they get there. And Aaron could definitely kill both Piek and Galliard before then, at least one of them. Um, obviously, setting up the next chapter of probably the round three. I think it's round th no, it's round four, I believe, because. For Aaron versus uh, Reiner. Reiner, don't know if I'm pronouncing which one. I think it's Reiner. Um, I believe it's round four for them. Obviously, I'm using the backdrop and the, the cover volume where they're fighting. I like that one. But uh, I don't... As much as uh, Reiner has come as a character, I don't think he's going to win. It, it, the way that they've been going at it, especially Aaron now, it's just going to end up like... Pretty much every time that they've fought, Aaron has just kind of like dominated him since like... Since he like uh, the first match, like obviously he was losing at first, and then he got like submissions in, and that's kind of schooled him. And then everything since then, you know, he's obviously got hardening now, and now he's even a better fighter, and he's more tactical. And he's and Rainer, Rainer, whatever, is just he just seems to be, he's just gonna get his shit pushed in again. And again, it's just like with Zeke and Levi, where it's just like okay, maybe it'll be different this time. Nope, he just completely kicks his ass every time. And obviously now, I think that maybe the turning factor will be the fact that there's three of them against Aaron, but all that really needs to happen is Armin to get out of uh, his jail cell and then go colossal, and then he'll swat all of those zeppelins out of the sky and then probably, like, pick up Piek and just, like, throw her into the into the stratosphere or some shit. But anyway, that's mostly it for this chapter. Uh, like I said, I'm only going to be doing it as the chapters are. Um, if I miss anything, just tell me about it in the comments. I'm not going to be able to grasp everything as much. Um, probably because, you know, it's fresh reading versus, you know, someone who's been reading it for a long time. who has got way more of uh, the content burned into their psyche. But uh, the next the next chapters look pretty fun. You know, they're, they're going to have the right in. But I said, like, these airships... All, all that's going to happen, all that rather that's going to need to happen is Colossal Titan. And then, obviously, he's not tall enough to, to just swat him out. But he, he can easily just, like, pick up a building and chuck him and take out those Zeppelins. Or, like, just grab any of those uh, smaller Titans. And it's just like, well, GG, you guys are fucked. 
because I don't I don't know the distance. I know obviously Zeke is way far away, and you got all these dudes like pumped up with the spinal fluid, so you know his yell will turn to the Titans. But I don't think he like I don't think even like full sprint he he would make it here relatively in any time point of this battle. But other than that, uh, yeah, drop a comment below on what you think about this. Are you a uh, are you a Shingeki no Kyojiner, uh, Attack on Titaner, and Advance of Giants guy, or I guess it'd be Jump on Giants or something. Other than that, yeah, drop a comment um, on, on this chapter, and uh, hopefully get you to thumbs up the video, befriend the like button and the subscribe button, and check out my other videos. But other than that, I appreciate everyone who's already subscribed, and I thank you all for listening. Bye.